Hi guys, I'm Darren, and in this video, we're gonna be looking at profiles in iNav. Now this video has come about because of a question I was asked by a Patreon about using different batteries in iNav and the best way to handle them. And we can use profiles for this. Now there's actually two different sets of profiles in iNav. So maybe the best thing to do is jump into configurator and take a look. Okay, so here we are in configurator and you may have seen at the top, we have this profile one and battery profile one here. Now in iNav, we have two different sets of profiles that we can change. Control profiles, which if you're coming from beta flight, you may have known as rate profiles. In iNav, they control a hell of a lot more than just the rates. And we have battery profiles. For each one, we have three different profiles we can choose. And all we need to do to change them in configurator is to select the profile we want to use in the drop down list. So if I pop into a page such as maybe configuration. So if you see these fields here, they have like a yellow background and you'll notice that battery profile one is also in a sort of orangey yellow color. That's to show that these fields are actually a part of the battery profile. Likewise, if you see fields with this sort of light blue color background, they're related to the control profile. So going back to the question that was asked about the different battery types, we can use the profiles for this. So for example, if we had a four cell uh, LiPo, we could set this up, set our capacity. So we have a say 1800 milliamp hour LiPo. We've also set our warning and critical capacity percentages then we can just save this and that's set in our profile. But let's say that we fly this aircraft with an 1800 LiPo, but also we have a 3000 lithium ion pack. We can actually change that in a battery profile. So what I'm gonna do now is save and reboot this. And when it comes back, I will show you how to make a duplicate of a profile because it's not just a case of choosing profile two up in this box. If you do that, you'll get all the default values. Let me pop into advanced tuning quickly. You'll see that the battery profiles aren't just related to power. That's because different types of battery, different cell counts will have an effect on things like your launch throttle, your cruise throttle, all this sort of stuff is still related to the battery profile. So, if we've got a working model set up, we potentially just need to tweak things. So we just want to copy the data we've already got and put it in the new profile before starting any changes. So the way to do this is to pop in the CLI and we're going to type diff all. Or if you've already got a diff file, you can use that. And what we're going to do is go down here to where our battery profiles are. And likewise, if you're doing this with a control profile, you want to copy it in exactly the same way you would just copy the control profile. From MyNav 6.0 onwards, when you first set up a flight controller, you know you get that little screen up that asks you whether it's a quad, a seven inch quad, airplane with a tail, airplane without a tail, all that sort of stuff. When you click on your selection now, it will actually put those default platform values into the profiles for each type. So it's not so critical anymore, but originally if you're on an older version of iNav like five, it would only do that for the profile one. So profile two and three will be the firmware defaults. So it was even more important to do it back then. At least now you'll know that you're not gonna have any problems flying it if you don't uh, remember to do this step, but it is better to do this step and have a working platform that you know is right at that point in time. So we're doing a battery profile. So what we're going to do is go to battery profile one, which we've set everything up for. And what we're going to do is just copy the set commands for battery profile one. So copy that. Next, what we're going to do is actually just type in battery underscore profile two. And all this is going to do is change to that profile. So there we go. We're now in battery profile two. Now what we can do is paste in the, the bit we copied. So those uh, what five, six set lines, which has now set them in profile two. And what we can actually do is a diff all just to confirm this. 
So you can see now battery profile two, we have those settings that we'd set. And at this point you can save. You notice at the moment, this isn't updating. Don't worry about it. In the CLI, it's using the correct profile. And if we save and reboot, this will actually say battery profile two, the one that we're working in. Or if you wanted to go back to battery profile one, you could just type battery profile one. While I'm here, if you're copying a control profile to switch profiles, you just need to type profile two, for example. Now it's working in control profile two. So let's go back to control profile one. And what we'll do is do a save settings. When we come back in, we'll be in battery profile two and the values that we added to battery profile one will be in profile two for us. So you can see up here, battery profile two. If we go down to configuration, you can see everything's already filled in. If we hadn't made that copy, we wouldn't have this information here. It would be the firmware defaults. So for example, we're now using a lithium ion. We can set the minimum cell voltage to three or 2.7, for example. We'll set the warning at 2.9. We'll say our capacity is 3000. And let's do a save and reboot. So when this one comes back, we now have two different battery profiles, one for a lithium ion, one for a lithium polymer. Of course, you can change things in advanced tuning. You may find that um, you want to cruise at a slightly different throttle, not necessarily with the same cell count, but for example, some people like to use one extra cell on a lithium ion than they do on a lithium polymer, because then when it gets right down to the, the empty battery state, it's at about the same sort of voltage that you would be on the four cell. In which case, the extra cell, you don't need so much throttle on launches. You don't need so much cruise throttle. You can adjust those in advanced tuning. The other cool thing that you can do is if you have different cell counts, you can automatically detect which battery you've got installed and it will switch profiles automatically. So if we set this as a five cell, we'll do a save and reboot and I'll show you where that setting is. Okay, so we've now got our five cell battery, but what I'm gonna do is show you where all the settings are so you can see how to work stuff out yourself. So here we are in the iNav GitHub. This is the firmware repository. So github.com slash iNav flight slash iNav. I'll put a link in the description and we're gonna go into the docs section. Now in here, we will see this battery.md file. This is the documents for the battery stuff. And it's got some stuff about calibration, voltages on the OSD, and starts going into profiles. And eventually we get down to battery profiles, where it says about uh, free or supported. You can switch profiles using stick commands. So clicking this link will take you to the stick commands page. And it will also list everything that is inside the battery profile. So all these settings here are within a battery profile, you can change them for each individual battery. Now somewhere, here we go, it has the automatic battery switching. So you'll see here, we've got profile one as three cells, profile two as four cells. And all you need to do is enable battery profile auto switch. So if we go back to configurator and go configuration page, you'll see automatic battery profile selection. If you turn this on and save and reboot, if you plug in a fully charged four cell pack, it will switch to profile one. If you plug in a fully charged five cell pack, it will switch to profile two. So you don't need to do anything other than that. You just set up your profiles. When you plug in the right battery, it will switch. Of course, this only works if they have a different cell count. So if they're both four cell batteries, you're gonna have to use the stick commands to switch to the right profile when you fly. Another thing that you can do is change the control profile based on your battery profile. You can actually have it so that it will change control profiles automatically when you change battery profiles. And for that, again, it's back in this battery MD dot doc, you will find here this set control rate profile one or set control rate profile two. So I'll show you where we actually set this. So we're, I'm just gonna copy this code here 
and we'll pop back to configurator. And what we're gonna do is pop into CLI. So again, I'll do a diff all so we can see where we're at. And we've got, we're in battery profile two because you can see here the last command is to go switch back to the profile we're using. So we're using battery profile two and we're using control profile one. So if we've set up our control profile one for a four cell pack and control profile two for a five cell pack, what we can actually do is change our battery profiles to automatically switch to those control profiles. So to do that, we're in battery profile two. All we need to do is copy that bit of code in and choose the number of the profile that we want to switch to. So we'll do that. Now what we're gonna to have to do is switch to battery profile one. So we've just switched there. And now we can put in the code to switch to control profile one when we're using battery profile one. So again, I'll do a diff all. And you can see here we have in battery profile one, we've got set control rate profile equals one. In battery profile two, we have set control rate profile equals two. And if we save these settings, whenever we connect a four cell pack, we'll use battery profile and control profile one. When we plug in a five cell pack, we'll use battery profile and control profile two. So you can do this all automatically. I'm not going to save this because I want to do something a little bit different. So I'm just going to exit. And what we're going to do now is look a little bit more at control profiles. The battery profiles, I think we've pretty much covered and everything else is in this document. So the other thing is the control profiles. So in the documents, it's just profiles.md. And you can see here how we can change profiles with the stick commands. This is, of course, using mode two how you can change it in the CLI, which we've shown already. We just type profile space, then the profile number. If you want to change your profile based on the switch position, it actually gives you an example of how to do this here. So all we need to do is set a switch on an RC channel. So in this example, we have channel 15, which is our switch on our transmitter. We subtract a value from it. You may need to tweak this slightly. Then we map the output to three. Um, so you just need to make sure that when you flick your switch, there's a position that says one, a position that says two, and a position that says three. Once that's working, you can then set the profile based on this uh, logic condition here. Then you can switch between control profiles one, two, and three with a three position switch. Um, but yeah, if we keep going through this file, you can see exactly what you can change on a control profile. You've got all the PIDs for multi-rotors, fixed wings, uh, filtering. There's quite a lot of stuff that you can change on the control profile. But now I think if you wanted to tune these profiles, you at least know how you can switch them, how you can adjust them, and how you can get everything working automatically depending on what you want this profile to do potentially. So I hope this video is useful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. But overall, I don't think this is actually that difficult. If you set up one aircraft with the control system and the battery profile, you know how to do it already. It's just doing it on multiple profiles. And as I said to Mick on Patreon, it's I think actually explaining what it is is more complex than actually doing it. After doing the initial copy of your base settings that work, it's just a case of switching to a different profile and then editing the data so that it works how you want it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, but I would really recommend reading both those documents first. And if you found this video useful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and please click the subscribe and bell icon. That will help get this video out to more people so they can learn about profiles too. Thank you very much for watching guys. See you on the next one and fly mods like you stole them. Sun's coming out, yay.